Are you out car shopping in this market? Good news, we have the Homework Guy Cram Session for Savvy Car Buyers teed up for you today. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We're going to lay down a teaching and training list for anyone wanting to become the ultimate savvy car buyer in the current car market. Free training and coaching courtesy of the most honest and helpful channel on YouTube for car buyers, the Homework Guy Show. Today's show is in part a response to viewers like Joe F. who writes, I recently binged several of your videos and I understand your sense of humor a bit now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Much more tasteful and I truly value this information. Thank you. Thanks for your comment, Joe. You and several other viewers who like to binge watch our videos in preparation for car buying will be delighted to know Kevin has constructed a playlist titled THG's Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session to improve your car buying skills and hone them as sharp as a knife in the current car market. It's a must have for anyone wanting a good car shopping outcome. And the playlist is right here on YouTube. It includes many of our top recent videos, all current content for savvy car buyers. The entire list should be watched through and it includes our latest greatest videos like, you want a car right now? The clock is ticking. What clock are we referring to that's ticking here, Liz? Well, manufacturers commonly give a couple extra days for rebates from the previous month to expire. It's the end of 2022 and the ones that exist will expire no later than January 4th. Time is also running out if anyone who is in this bad car market right now. So if you're car shopping, don't waste another minute. Sit yourself down and make it through this playlist. The next video is how to avoid car dealer markups in 2023. We've been advising people for some time now to walk away from or avoid dealers charging markups. This video is actually a report done by KBB, believe it or not. Totally. Unfortunately, many dealers are still committed to their markups, but they are gradually beginning to waffle. Like this viewer, Billy writes, I went to my local Toyota dealer and they were initially still trying to charge me over MSRP because of supply issues. Right. When I started to walk away, the salesman said he might be able to convince his manager to sell it to me for the sticker price. The sticker price was full of addendums. It's a scam built on scams. They wanted me to think I won because I would not pay the market adjustment, but they had all sorts of overpriced addendums added on anyway. They just do not stop, do they? No, Billy, the most unethical dealers remains very steadfast and committed to their markups despite pocketing thousands of dollars off one fair car deal. That's about $5,500 on average just on the sales price. Next video up in the playlist is free car buying help from THG to viewers. A lot of people have already taken advantage of that offer, haven't they, Kevin? They sure have. It's been very enjoyable. In fact, it's great hearing the surprise on the other end of the line when they hear my voice, but I love it. And it's definitely not an inconvenience for us to do. Next on the playlist is another critical subject. Why a local credit union pre-approval is a must have for car buyers. That's really a very critical thing for anyone financing to understand. Small local credit unions can be such a big help to car buyers. Right. They actually defend the car buyer by limiting the dealer from packing all kinds of worthless stuff into the loan. Just one of the reasons a dealer doesn't like you going through a local credit union. But when it comes to credit unions, small and local is the key. Do not fall for the online credit union signups. They are just as crappy and self-serving as any huge bank. Yes, so true. Next up on the list is out the door car pricing, why it should be used in this car market. So important to get an out the door pricing folks. And we've put email templates for getting out the door prices from dealers for both new and used cars on our website. I also wanted to mention that since people started using our email templates, we've received a few questions about who should be contacted at the dealership. So we've done you an extra favor and put that instruction right on the template. You want to contact the dealer's internet manager and ask for their email and then just say, I'm interested in a specific car and will email you today with a request on it. Then hang up before they drag you into a lengthy <laughs> conversation, hoping to just get you in the dealership ahead of the email. Don't fall for that. Next up on the playlist is dealer fees, why they should not be paid at car dealerships. You may have noticed that we spend a bit of time on fees and, and we have published more than one video on the subject. The reason is simple. Fees are just as bad or even worse than a market adjustment because the only thing a fee serves to do is jack up the price of the car without your consent. Then to support our fees video, we posted a car dealer's fake fees list on our website, which includes the FTC reporting link, which is reportfraud.ftc.gov. By the way, I want to share a comeback I just recently used against a dealer finance officer while helping a car buyer. And this guy said, the fees are mandatory. I responded by asking, so are they not voluntary fees? He says, no, they're mandatory. And I said, you know what else is even more mandatory? 
that your dealership complies with all the state and federal laws protecting consumer rights. Your last minute fees violate those laws which require mandatory compliance. Are you saying your mandatory dealer policy trumps state and federal mandatory law? He angrily folded with a huff and the fees went bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember to print that list off and take it with you to the dealer. Remember that the mandatory law is on your side, folks. Topic of fees is much easier to understand than many people make it out to be. Our viewer Joe P comments on our fees video. I will definitely look out for these when I buy my next car. One suggestion though, instead of a video listing all the fees not to pay, can you do a video on only the fees that you are required to pay? Probably a shorter list and people can identify BS fees by their exclusion from the list. To answer Joe's question, Kevin wrote, tax title and license fees are the only thing a car buyer is required to pay. Everything else is a profit pattern. All of the legitimate fees are untaxed and come straight from your local DMV office. The dealer has no choice but to charge those fees. Everything else can be or should be reduced or removed entirely. Up next is this video, Do Not Be Fooled, Deceptive Dealer Practices and Ads. This video covers the many deceptive dealer techniques and ad types that dealers use to try draw you into a trap. Just come on down, we have a deal for you, they claim. There's always unbelievable payment plans and pledges for huge trade values like trade vouchers. They want you at their desk under their roof so they can confuse you and draw you into hours long processes and get you to make a stupid decision that relies upon their terrible advice. 11 fake fees do not pay at new or used car dealerships made the list. Of course it did. This is a longtime favorite here at THG with 3.3 million lifetime views on it. Some of you may recall that Yah did a reaction to this video back when they first joined YouTube. Zach caved in when I called him out on it and he removed the video. Now, why did they do this in the first place? To insert themselves into our stream of viewers to try skim viewers off of our channel. That was it. That was bad enough, but what really pissed us off about the reaction video was the old man who couldn't even bring himself to say my name. He had so much bottled up ill will and resentment for me. He says right away in the beginning that he would have fired me too. You see, it was Yah who started with all this bad blood, making a cooperation project pretty much impossible with them. I knew right then and there that there was nothing former about that old fart. 40 years of Kool-Aid drinking in a dealership has him very committed to remaining a scumbag dealer. <laughs> After we published the popular 11 fake fees video, how many thousands of dollars do you think we saved people with that classic, Liz? Oh, it's a ton of money, that's for sure. Next up is, don't say I'm paying cash at car dealers with the amazing Elizabeth. Ah. We did over 8 million views on that subject with prior videos, and this was one of your first appearances on camera here at THG, Liz. And people still love your approach and style to handling a cash car deal on that video. That was purely masterful. We should do more role play videos with you, don't you think, Liz? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Let's let our viewers decide, actually. Comment below if you'd like to see more role play content from me and others. I'd be glad to do it if the viewers want it. Also on the playlist is 15 fake fees. There's updated fee info in this one, and it covers the free download on car dealer fake fees that we have on our website and how to use it. And that, my friends, is the THG's Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session playlist, which you got to admit is awesome. Yep. As Liz mentioned back in the beginning, watching a playlist of impactful videos helps everyone. It helps you sharpen your own skills. It helps others find great content because it increases the visibility of every video that we produce on YouTube. That's the way the algorithm works. And it connects them for others to be referred to as well, which in turn helps the Homework Guide channel. It's a great way to say thank you to us. And it's a win-win-win situation. And we love it when everyone wins. And Kevin, you must mention what you did with the FTC rules printout that you posted on the website too. Well, to save all of you some time wading through 37 pages of FTC rules, I sat down for a few hours the other morning and combed through the entire outline. I removed all the footnotes and left out the comment instructions at the end. It is now just 16 and a half pages in length. That's on our website and it's something anyone can easily print out and take with them when it comes time to visit a dealership. Read it and highlight it for fast reference at the dealer. It's a pro negotiating tool that can help you cut out some of the nonsense that you'll encounter at some of the dealers. Dealers fear the FTC and they are much more likely to cave in when you show them this documents and the car dealers fake fees outline that we have posted on our website. Time to get yourself up to speed if you're car shopping. If you appreciated today's show and the THG Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session, could I ask you to do us a favor? 
If you're on Facebook, could you visit our page, leave us a comment and a review, and share what you've learned from the Homework Guide channel, and then stop by our website too, thehomeworkguide.com. There's tons of free tools there right now. The free car buyer's guide is there, along with the free out-the-door pricing template emails for new and used cars. And now you can also get a free black book value for used cars you're shopping for or a vehicle you wish to trade in. We just need the VIN number and the miles on the vehicle. And if you're not sure, please send us the trim level as well. If you send us a copy of the dealer listing, we can give you even more feedback on the good offer that they're most likely to accept. And then we also have examples to share with you for future viewers. While you're visiting our website, if you're interested in giving the best possible care to your used car, check out the XCAPS and AMSOIL links we have on the website. 13 years on YouTube has been an unbelievable journey, folks. By the way, we've got freshly designed new merch on the merchandise shelf down below the video. So check it up and get suited up. If you'd like to show some gratitude by sending us a tip, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box down below the video. PayPal, Cash Up, and Venmo. To respond to anyone wondering why we do the tip system, it might surprise you to learn that the idea actually came directly from our viewing audience. Generous people asked for a way to donate to our efforts and we started with PayPal and then other viewers requested that we also add Cash App and Venmo because they are popular forms of payment. We have learned to like it because it's a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. And even better yet, we convert your tips into more free services for our viewers. I also want to remind our viewers about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. It's not an automated line, folks, so you actually get us. You don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on a paid car club membership offered by money-grubbing dealer sympathizers. <laughs> Just send us a text to 701-441-3399 with your name, and we'll be in touch with you. We look forward to hearing from you. By the way, there's no problem with you contacting us months before you're going to buy. We can make you almost bulletproof in that time frame. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guide channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on places like Facebook and Twitter. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, we're still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.